Thank you both. Uh, the first question is for you, City here. Um, both of you have identified mental health as an issue in your manifestos. What do you think postgraduate and mental health issues are, and how would you tackle them? I think the key issue with postgraduate students here at UCL is the fact that they are here for such a short term, and communities have already been established with regard to all the BSc students that are here, have done their undergraduate studies. So they come into a society where they don't really feel involved, they don't really feel like they've been inclusive within. So now to have such a kind of facility where we're waiting for more than four weeks for an appointment, it's just, it's just not acceptable whatsoever. So uh, we need to make sure that we distribute the right resources, the right funding to make sure that mental health resources are funded as, as they should be. Thank you. Thank you. Same to you, Suzanne. Um, both of you have identified mental health as an issue in your manifestos. What do you think postgraduate mental health issues are and how would you tackle them? So mental health issues with regards to postgraduates is mainly sometimes people are also working part-time. A lot of my classmates, I work part-time as I'm studying full-time, for example. So there's a lot of constraint on the students. So one of the key things is not only providing the resources by the management or something, but also providing the right community and right space among students. And it has to be grassroots initiatives that would support those students. Thank you. Uh, the next question, Sadiqir, is um, what is the most significant campaign you hope to head and why? So as mentioned in my manifesto, a large proportion, more than half of students feel like, firstly, they have to do part-time studies because it supports, they can get jobs and support the studies while they're doing uh, their ed education here at UCL. Another kind of like really important fact is that they feel as though um, they have limited or no support to financial assistance. So we really need to address this issue and make sure that they kind of like meet their um, academic aspirations and not limited simply because of finance or something that simply is just really not important at all. Thank yeah. you. <laughs> Same to you. Okay. So one of the key campaigns would definitely um, involve extra scholarships, yes, but even uh, as Sadiqur uh, mentioned, but also especially for international students. I'm an international student and there are so little scholarships that are provided and sometimes this is also increases the burden. And of course, for UK students, this would also be ensured. At the same time, one of the key things is postgraduate students do not get, get enough experiences, work experiences, or that's involved in their curriculum. So I would involve more practical um, areas in the, in the curriculum. That's it. Thank you. The last question for you both is, what do you think is the most significant difficulty faced by postgraduate students? I think the most significant difficulty faced by postgraduate students is the fact that they don't feel involved. They're here for such a short period of time, as I mentioned before, and we need to find new ways to make them feel inclusive, feel like the union is in support of them, and just to make sure they are involved with the student body and uh, they make the most of their education here at UCL. Thank you. What do you think is the most significant difficulty faced by postgraduate students? I think um, it is true that they're not involved enough, but also a lot of uh, the students here, postgraduate students, are mature students, like they have had their work experience, and sometimes this is not taken care, uh, this is not taken into consideration when they're looking at their curriculum uh, or even like uh, career opportunities. Um, so definitely this is one thing that I would increase, is that basically get them, uh, get the right, right people involved and at the same time uh, involve them in the community even further given their short time. Thank you both.